Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Follow along with me as we find out how I built this DIY ball mill. Let's jump right into it. So the first step of the process is going to be the CAD. So let me take these milling chambers off here and we can see what the, the core of the um, ball mill looks like. So what we got going on here is we got some 3D printed brackets that hold everything together. So let's go to CAD and see that first. So here we are in Fusion 360 where I designed this ball mill. So right here we have our motor and we have our speed controller with a little knob to adjust the speed. And then we have our uh, bars, one and two. And then we have our parts that we designed. So this is the first side. And then this is the second side over here. And this is the wooden base. So I designed this so that um, these two sides were parallel with each other. So they were attached to each other so that they would um, stay parallel so I wouldn't have any like weird um, one side closer to these each other than the other side it just helps keep everything aligned so right after that then we have a coupler that goes onto our motor so um, holding the motor in place we have a motor mount right here as we zoom in right here we can see our motor mount and it's just a a part of the circle and it just holds that and you see these squares that are zip tie um, holders so a zip tie goes into there and uh, wraps over the motor and then there's screw holes here to screw the motor mount down there's also a mount right here as you see to hold a, the speed controller down and yeah so it's a pretty good um, starting place for everything we also have another uh, piece here to hold the bearing on here to hold it so it doesn't slide off the edge of the uh, mount here. So now that we have everything drawn out in CAD here, let's get everything printed on the 3D printer. I'm printing this on a Prusa i3 Mark 3S. And yeah, so I'm just using regular PLA filament, not too difficult. Um, if you have any other questions about this design, leave me know in the comments and make sure to hit the like button while you're there. Okay, so as you see here, we have our first part that we printed here, and we have our second part, and we have our motor mount, and there's our motor, our speed controller, our speed controller mount, and then there's our knob that turns the speed up and down. And then here, this little orange piece, that is the piece that keeps, it keeps this against it, so when it rolls, it rolls against the bearing, and it keeps it from um, coming off. So it's just that simple. Also, we have, um, this is an eight millimeter rod here, and there is some surgical tubing or whatever you wanna call that stuff. Um, it's just some tube that's slid onto the rod, and it works very well. And then these are just 608 bearings right here. So the next question you might ask is, where did you get these? So this is from a ball mill that I bought, and I had uh, just taken these uh, milling containers off of it because it's a very good um, system so pretty much what it is there's a little nut cap wing nut there pretty much and geesh. Um, so you see there's a little cap there and there's a rubber seal here so it's nice and sealed so none of the powder or anything comes out and when when this um, wing nut pulls on it it tightens it so it's not coming apart during your milling so it's a pretty good um, little container here. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I will definitely reply to those comments. Um, let me know if you have any questions or any other thoughts about this project. If you have any ways you think you could improve it, let me know in the comments. Also hit that like and subscribe button. I really would appreciate it and have a great day. Bye.